loves, welcome back. So today's video is a handbag collection video, one of my most requested videos by you guys. So I have got 25 beautiful luxury handbags to show you, but today we are focusing on all things neutral. So what is a neutral? For today's video, I've defined neutrals as white, creams, ivories, beige, uh, gray, tans, browns. Now I've excluded black because I've done an entire black collection video already. So if you were interested in that, I will link that above. And also for the purposes of this video, I've also excluded monogram bags. So think Louis Vuitton monogram. A lot of them are considered neutrals as well, but I was thinking I might do a separate video on all my sort of uh, monogram bags. So let's get started with sort of like the beige family and one of my most favorite bags out of all my neutrals is this gorgeous Chanel reissue bag and this is in the size 225. I believe Chanel calls it the small and I have done a big comparison between the reissue and the classic flap. If you were interested, I will link that above. But I bought this in London, I believe in 2016. I get asked about this bag all the time because look at this shade of beige. It is just, I, I love it. It's this beautiful warm neutral with the gold hardware. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm not going to go into detail about each of the bags. Otherwise, we will seriously be here for a few hours, but just showing you, you know, a 360 of the bag, sort of like a mod shot or a picture of me wearing it just to give you extra eye candy. So this is a bag I absolutely love and one that is going to stay in my collection forever. So next up, I've actually got a little unboxing. It's not a true unboxing because I have opened it up and it is from Farfetch and it's in this little black box which you probably can guess what it is Saint Laurent so let me just quickly open it up to show you when I saw this on their website I absolutely love this color I've heard rave reviews about this style and it is none other than dun, 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 this is a Saint Laurent Toy Lulu how gorgeous is this colorway? So again, this is a beige, but this time round, it has got um, silver hardware. Can you see this does look a lot more casual than, for example, my Chanel reissue bag? See, sort of still in the same family, but they look so different. And absolutely, before you guys ask, I do have a code for you. This video is in partnership with Farfetch. You guys know I have been working with Farfetch for ages now, and whenever I can, of course, I will get you a code. So this code entitles you to 10% off full price items. Some brand exclusions do apply, but absolutely YSL is included. I will link this bag and other colors. Oh, I saw it in a beautiful pale gray as well down below. The only thing you need to be is a new customer. So if you've already shopped from Farfetch before, just get your partner or your sister or another family member, just sign up that way. That way you will get the 10% off. But even better, what I love what they're doing at the moment is that they're supporting their boutiques. So if you didn't know, Farfetch is like this huge luxury marketplace and they have boutiques from all around the world. So when you purchase an item, it could come from Italy, it could come from US, it could come from Spain, it could come from Asia and so forth. So in my opinion, they have the best stock range. That is what I love about them and the fact that they deliver so quickly. So this bag here, YSL is included in the promo. But if you look at their bags at the moment to help the boutiques out, because we all know we are going through a bit of a crisis at the moment. If you guys are looking for a bag and you do have the means, neutral color bags are great bags to purchase because they do stand the test of time. So they've got a whole section. If you go to their website called hashtag support boutiques, if you go to that section, everything's reduced by 25%. So if you use my code, you get a further 10% off that already reduced 25%, so that applies as well. So just wanted to let you know about that because I love that initiative. A lot of these boutiques are family-run boutiques. So even though a lot of these boutiques have closed physically, they can still sell their products through Farfetch. And I just love that about them, that they really support uh, their boutique partners. So this little cutie, let me just open it up. Everything, I have not taken anything out yet, but it does come with this shoulder strap. Let me just quickly undo it now. 
Okay, so I've attached the strap and it is an adjustable shoulder strap bag. But honestly, guys, you could attach any strap to this, even if it's a plain you know, chain strap if you want it, as long as the hardware matches if you want. Let me open it up and inside it's just got two compartments. It's going to be hard to see because it's all black. It's got a zipper compartment and it's got a couple of compartments here for your credit cards and so forth. Oh, actually it's got an even a little compartment in the middle which inside here just contains the authenticity card. So I almost bought this bag in velvet actually a couple of years ago but I really love this neutral that they had. So it is at a really good price point especially with the discount. So if you've been thinking about a YSL bag, a lot of you have recommended this to me. I'm glad to add this cutie to my collection. And the next bag I want to show you has a little bit of a story. Again, it is in this sort of beige family. This is a tote. And as you can see, it is in beige, probably with a pink undertone. But let me turn it around. And this is the story. So can you read it? It says, don't touch Melinda's bag. And this is actually signed by Monsieur Louboutin himself. And this is when I got to meet him. It was such a fabulous experience. I had no idea what he was going to write on the bag. I just thought, I'm going to pick a bag and I want him to do anything he wants. And this is what it came up with. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know how to take it. But the more and more like I looked at it, the more and more I liked it because it's very artistic. It's definitely one of a kind. And you know what? It's just that Louboutin touch. And this bag here, as you can see from the red sole, again, um, on, on all their bags, they have the red bottom. And uh, the back of the bag is plain. It is a good sort of like uh, alternative to the Neverfull, if you didn't want the Neverfull. It's in a really nice grained leather, very durable as well. But it's just got this pop of artwork from here. So inside is all red, lots and lots of room. I have to admit, I don't really use this bag, but I still love having it in my collection. I mean, how many people can say they've got something signed by him and something so, don't touch my bag. Okay, I'm going to move on to my right hand side, which is sort of more the beiges, ivories, whites. So in no particular order, I'm going to grab this cutie here love this bag um it is just so cute and so versatile it's such a good travel bag so on the inside yes i do have my 7rp insert the the uh, strap is just in canvas so it's a slightly lighter shade for those of you thinking about buying an hermes bag this is one of the lower price bags but really popular because it is so darn cute you can wear it with the h in front or just plain at the back and what i often like to do besides wearing it with a canvas strap sometimes i wear it with my maxi twilly and it is just such a good travel bag i use this a lot and i love of this particular shade in Hermes. This is Baton, I believe, and it's got this very slight gray undertone. And next up is another YSL cutie. Again, this is one that I got from Farfetch. This bag looks so tiny, but it packs so much. And this is the YSL Mini Lou camera bag. And uh, in the inside, it is all leather lined. Let me just take everything out. It is all leather line. Look how how big the opening is. I love this one with gold actually. And again, it's this sort of off-white, vintage white bag. So this was one of the first bags that I got from Farfetch. By the way, uh, full disclosure guys, Farfetch did give me a voucher of which I used on the first YSL Toy Lulu bag. And also, as you can see when I'm modeling this bag, one thing that I have for me anyway invested in, and a lot of you guys probably think, really? You never tried those jeans before? The jeans that I'm wearing today, which I will also model, is from Citizens of Humanity. And I thought, you know what? This is such a great time to try it out. Try it out. I always wanted to try out some of these designer label jeans and I am converted. Yes, I do have a few of Zara jeans and stuff like that, but I love this one because it's got that little bit of kick flair. So it's different from just a skinny cut jean. It's like organic cotton. It's like just a dream to wear. So for those of you thinking, oh, why wouldn't I just buy it from Zara? I highly recommend. I actually bought two pairs of jeans. So with the voucher, yes, I did use it up, but I actually ended up spending more. And I got two pairs of jeans, one being this one, which you can take your regular size, just plain. And another pair being mother, because you guys were like, I love mother jeans. So I've already started wearing them. Love them. So 
as you can see from this bag it's great as a shoulder bag great as a crossbody bag it's got this little pocket at the back chevron design a big tassel which personally i love and it's just a really cute bag holds a lot but at a really really great price point okay next up is this beauty okay this i believe it was 2016 i bought it and this is the chanel boy jacket bag in size old medium in this crinkled calf and it is held up well a lot of people are so scared of light colors well lighter neutrals and i'm telling you guys don't be too scared of lighter neutrals obviously you do need to be a little bit more careful than just plain black but i love these lighter shades it's just i don't know it just adds a certain sophistication especially with the gold tone hardware so this one with the chain detailing all up the front and it does run up the back too I just, when I saw this coming out, I, I knew I had to have it. It is in a brush gold sort of, yeah, brush gold hardware, I would say. And to open it up, it's stuffed at the moment. It's all in this, just one compartment in the middle. Again, I haven't worn my boys that much, to be honest, but this is not a bag that I'm thinking of selling. I don't know. I, I just love everything about it. And it is something that... It is something that when I still look at, I still get like little flutters. So that's always a good sign. So next up is my beautiful, beautiful Kelly 28. Uh, I bought this from a reseller. Again, if you want to hear about all my experience, I will link it above. It is in Evercolor leather. My first sort of bag in Evercolor leather with uh, gold hardware. And this color is called Grey Pearl. This is the size 28 in the Retin-A. So Retin-A, because you can see the piping on the outside so even the bag is considered more of a cooler neutral i just loved it with the warmer gold hardware i don't know there's just something about it which i really really loved so inside again i've got my 7rp insert and if i have any offers on that i will link it down below i, I do believe my mim 30 still works for it if you are uh, wanting one of their inserts and this bag is just I'm a Kelly girl. What can I say? Melly loves her Kellys and definitely wanted a grey. Actually, I would still want a, an Intane Birkin. That was always on my wish list. But to be able to find this bag in this combination, that was exactly what I was after. And I love, love it. Next up is my only pure white bag. And uh, I still love it. It's a bag I bought pre-loved years ago. And it is my Chanel Classic Flap bag in size medium large. And it is in caviar leather with gold hardware. So this is just a quick 360. You can see, I'm, I hope the camera's picking it up. This is white, white. Let me show you against my YSL. See how this is white? This is sort of like an off-white or... A, you know, vintage white. This is pure white. And I actually thought I had more pure white bags, but I haven't. And this makes this one so special. Uh, this one is pretty old actually, but I love it. I bought it pre-loved and saved thousands. I, you guys know I'm a big believer in pre-loved bags anyway. So, so again, I'm not going to show the inside and everything because you guys already know a lot about these bags and I have done comparisons but I love just to wear this bag as a shoulder bag and sometimes I might you know just wear it as a top handle bag but you can't go wrong with Chanel it's just a classic and the final bag in my sort of cream beige family is my Senrev Mini Maestra bag. You guys already know how much I love this bag. It's like my Erin's bag. It's scratch resistant, water resistant. I've done heaps of videos on it. So if you wanted to watch those, I will link them down below. But the best thing about this bag in a nutshell is that it's so versatile and you can wear it four different ways. But what I love most is at the moment they're running a campaign and they basically want to help those affected by COVID. So what they've got running is if you wanted to use the code you can get 15% off any of their products and then they will also donate 15% to the COVID uh, solidarity response relief fund but if you didn't want to use the code they will actually donate 30% of net proceeds to the COVID fund so I just think that's fabulous that they're giving back you get 
to try one of their bags at a discount knowing that either 15% or 30% um, Sinrev is donating on your behalf. Next up is my only exotic bag and it's definitely a neutral and it is this gorgeous LV twist bag that my husband surprised me with. It is in lizard and as you can see it's got sort of beige down the middle. It's a sort of ombre lizard and I just loved it. I don't know where he found it from because it's just amazing and it's called the twist because of the closing mechanism because you twist it to open and there you go it's just stuffed at the moment so inside is all you know leather lined I love it because it's got the silver handles which make it a little bit more casual and the twist is just such a classic LV style yeah it's special because it is my only exotic bag so guys how we are going are you enjoying all the eye candy Yes, I have lots of neutral bags. That's why I was saying to you, you can really have a look at the different families and see, oh, what do I like better? Do I like the beiges better? And now I'm actually moving into more the grayish family. And let's start off with these two, which are actually very similar in color. Let's talk about this one first. So this is my couple scenes, uh, BB in Galet. It is like a taupe, I would say, and it has got the beautiful snake uh, skin handle, which I love. I remember picking this up from Paris, uh, the Paris Boutique, and I just love the color. How beautiful is this neutral? You can see that it has got a gray undertone to it. It's probably a little bit more of a warmer neutral. And the couple scenes, what can I say? One of LV's classics. Inside, there's two compartments. It does come with a strap as well. Now it's even better because my strap is not adjustable, but the versions now do come with an adjustable shoulder strap. It is more pricier in terms of LV handbag styles, but it's one that is not going to go out of style anytime soon, especially in a neutral. You can get the ones with all leather handle. You don't have to get with the snake uh, trim. You don't have to get with the snake trim handle, but I just love this color. Obviously, I love the color so much that, you know, it is very similar for those of you that wanted a very quick comparison. This is Hermes Gris Tortorelle, my favorite Hermes neutral. So I was obviously wrapped when I was offered this bag from my local Melbourne boutique. I think maybe 2017. So even though they are in a very similar color, this one at least has gold hardware and this has palladium hardware. So I do have a little charm on here. This is my Birkin 25. Again, um, it's such a cute little bag. What can I say? The Birkin is, it's so cute in the size. I have another one in this size, but it is in a color. So this bag here, I just find goes with everything. Actually, neutrals are so easy to match because they go with everything. That's why they are considered a staple in any wardrobe. So if you're not one to go for color and you have too many blacks, there is so much in the spectrum of neutrals you can go for. You can go for lighter shades. You can go for more of these mid-tones. And then again, ask yourself, are you more of a silver or gold hardware person? Because it really changes the look of the bag, as you can see here. Next up, we're moving into greys, and I will start off with this beautiful bag, and this is the Dior Addict. This is in the medium or the large, it did come in a smaller size, and unfortunately, Dior discontinued it. So if I do find any pre-loved ones, I will list them down below, but I actually really love this, so I thought it was a bit of a shame that they discontinued it. Obviously, they can't keep all their styles, but I thought this was really nice, so to open it up, you just push this button here and it snaps open inside it is all in this beautiful suede oh, suede lining I love that actually about it and in here it comes with a very heavy um, chain with CD all on it also comes with this little clochette which I really think is cute it's just to open this little closure up but honestly you don't really get the key out of here to open it up but yeah I wish they continued this style I just really like the canage and I really love this style so if you guys are looking for this like I said pre-love bags are so good to buy because sometimes you just can't buy them new anymore so that is my gray Dior Addict flat bag Next up is one of my workhorses. I've used this bag so much, especially for work. I'm a huge fan of it. And this is the Givenchy Antigona in the size small. Now this color, I just love. It's 
a gray it's obviously a cooler tone can you see how it's cooler um, whereas in this just just quickly even though this is not a color lesson see how this is a warmer tone neutrals can be divided in more warmer tones like think tans or beiges and then like cooler tones obviously like grays and some of the like whites and stuff especially with silver hardware anyway this is the size uh small it does come in mini small medium small in my opinion is the best size i love the antigona so much that you know, I would consider it in the mini as well because I just use this bag so much. There's not one scratch on it. It is quite old actually. I don't know, quite a few years. I don't remember when I got it. Inside it's just all, nothing that exciting, just one big kind of, you know, black hole, but it fits tons. I use it so much for work. For those of you considering this bag, if you like structured bags, this uh, grained calf is just so durable and I have nothing but good things to say about this bag. It's even better now because the strap, my strap is, doesn't come off, but now the straps of this bag does come off. So a really good medium sized bag. Next up is the newest bag to my handbag collection and that was from a few videos ago now but it is my mini Lady Dior and I haven't had the chance to use her yet since all of us have been in lockdown but it is this beautiful grey velvet with the special sort of champagne gold hardware but it's got the Strauss, I hope that's how you pronounce it, which is with a little sprinkling of diamantes where Dior is which I think is extra special inside of course it does come with a shoulder strap as well which I think the mini size is just so cute and so elegant and because it is in the velvet it is a little bit more flexible but of course guys it does come in the lamb skin and the Lady Dior iconic right I do own another Lady Dior in medium but this mini it is so popular and but you can also find these in the pre-love market so for really good prices so if I see any I will link them down but yeah I haven't seen it in velvet before usually they do come with the Strauss it only comes in like satin previously or with exotic so I was really glad to add this little cutie to my collection and the final bag in my grey family is my midi maestro bag which is the next size up from the mini and this is also in the pebbled leather but this is the mix between the suede and the leather which I really love again it's the same features as the mini so I'm not going to go on about it I do have code as I said it's just really good if you want something a little bit bigger and a bit more room this is a great size as well now let's move on to I guess maybe my favorite, if you say, out of the neutral families, it's actually between these sort of camels, tans, and greys. But, you know, my favorite is the Hermes gold. They call gold, but it is like this tan caramel color. Look at the richness of this. So this is definitely what you consider a warmer tone neutral, even though it does have the palladium hardware. Again, hubby surprised me with this probably, I can't even remember, at least four years ago. It is a size 32 Kelly in the return. And guys, it is not that big. For those of you that like medium sized bags, you can pick up size 32 and 35 Kellys in the pre-love market for under RRP now because people are just loving the mini mini trend, which is still so, so in, but I love this bag. There's nothing wrong with the 32 and I love it. So of course all Kellys come with a shoulder strap. I'm not going to go in huge depth about it, but I love the palladium and gold because it makes it a little bit more casual. Though of course I love gold and gold, which I'm just going to go into soon. Again, you know, insert in there and it's just got heaps of space. So people love Hermes gold so much. I've seen people actually get Gold in a Kelly, gold in a Birkin, gold in an Evelyn, gold in a garden party and so forth. I understand why I... Personally, in my opinion, I think Hermes does the best tan out of all the brands and that's why I have another gold. But again, you know how I always say to you guys, Hermes colors are like a chameleon. So this is gold too, but this is gold. But because this is in a different leather, I don't know if you guys can actually see, but this is actually lighter than this. Um, it's going to be a bit hard to see in this light, but just you have to trust me on this one So this is my newest Hermes edition, which is called the Kelly dance and this is wow I did not ever think that I would buy it is officially an Hermes 
belt bag and I'm not into belt bags at all but this is the most elegant belt bag you will ever see and you can wear it like 10 different ways I've got a video I've done 10 different ways you're like thinking how melt trust me give me 10 different ways because of the unique strap which is in here and is extra extra long so inside just take everything out it is just one compartment there it is actually really, really versatile and I can't wear it, wait to wear it out more. It's very pliable. You can actually take the base out and then fold it. So it's going to be a great travel bag. And hopefully when we all can go traveling again, I can bring this cutie with me. Next up is this little cutie. And a lot of you may not have heard about this uh, brand, but it's Lancel. So they are a French company that's very well known in France. But over here, not so much so. Though they did open up their first boutique in Melbourne City. So I think this bag is so cute. I actually did visit their flagship store in Paris and had a great tour. And this bag was kindly uh, gifted to me. And I I really like it. I used it a lot when I was uh, traveling last year when my husband and I went to Paris and it just goes with everything. Again, this camel color, it is got a top handle and a shoulder strap as well. It is a really good price point and the leather is all made in Italy. If you've never considered this brand before, I do highly recommend you check them out. They've got this lancel on the handle, which I like, but this top strap is detachable. And it does come in various sizes, but the back pocket, you can just slide your mobile phone in there, which makes it very versatile. But yeah, just little details like this with the zipper. I just find it a very cute and understated bag. Let's move on to my Loewe. And this is my Loewe mini hammock bag and I really liked this it comes in different sizes as well this is the smaller size but I believe it comes in a small and a medium size as well but I really loved this particular combination I think Loewe is the next designer brand that does um pan caramel these camely colors very well as you can see it's very similar to Hermes gold so if you were ever considering the puzzle which I have considered as well their tan is just to die for as well so it does look like a little dumpling you can see from the sides it's got drawstring sides so you can open it up and let the sides sort of fan out a bit more which is very cute and with the strap you can take the strap off and just hold it handheld which I really like or you can use it as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody bag. This bag actually opens up pretty big as well. Let me just take all this out. And inside, as you can see, just has the herringbone sort of canvas lining. So I just think this was really cute. Loewe is really well made. I love their leathers. You know I'm a big fan of their brand as well. So I just thought this was a really cute addition to my hammock collection. Next up is this bag here, and it is from uh, Salvatore Ferragamo. And I don't think, they always have this line of bag. I believe it's called the Margot bag and it comes in leather, but this was a special one that um, Louisa Villaroma did give me a voucher of which I used on this. And yeah, it was like the last one. I really like it. You guys know I'm a big fan of wicker and straw, which I'm gonna go into very soon. But I just love the combination and Ferragamo is very classic. It does come with this shoulder strap as well, but I tend to use it as a, you know, more of a top handle bag. And inside it is material lined. It's got a couple of pockets there, but I just, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for sort of rattan and raffia bags. And I actually love their vintage version, which I would love to get one day as well. Um, it's not like this, it, it's the Gancini one. But anyway, this bag I just thought is a great bag. I know those of you in the whole Northern Hemisphere, it is officially spring. So do consider some of the wicker bags, which I'm going to go into next. So as you can see behind me, I have got a range of much more sort of spring, summer sort of bags. And definitely do consider, obviously you don't need that many, but I think it's nice to add some texture into your collection. And you can go from, you know, ones that are not as expensive, for example, like this Wicker Wings bag. I did a video on bags under $1,000. And this was from LVR and 
after doing that video and reviewing all those bags, I actually did pick up this bag because I was very impressed with the quality. And I don't have like a sort of whitish cream. It's just, it's not pure white. It's sort of slightly off white, but I loved this sort of beige uh, handle that it went with it. It comes in various colors, but at a really good price point. I think Louisa Aroma have a big sale on at the moment. So do... Uh, any codes that I know of, I will link down below. So again, as I said, if you have the means, it's a great time to pick yourself up a bargain. So this bag here, it's just a cute little bucket style. I'm a big fan of bucket styles, which you will see in my next bag. It does come with this shoulder strap. This bag is actually made in England, Wicker Wings. I love the leather. It's really thick and yeah, I just love that you can wear it you know, on the shoulder or you can wear it as a top handle bag. So talking about bucket shaped bags, I love this bag. I remember when I first unboxed it, you guys are like, hmm, but personally, I love it. It is this canvas bag from Hermes. It's in a bucket shape. It's actually called the Hermes grooming bag. It's actually not in the bag section. If you're looking to get this. I don't think it's online anyway. I haven't seen it online for ages, but it's because it's in the equestrian section and this was used as a grooming bag for the horses and brushes and so forth. So this bag here, uh, it's just, oh, I've got a coin in there. It's just got a material sort of inside which you can take out, but I wouldn't take out because it sort of protects the bag. And I just love it. I love the casual vibe. You can't actually take this strap off. And I don't know, there's just something so chic about this. I, I love it. No feet on the bottom. It is in the, you know, classic Hermes herringbone sort of canvas. I just love this bag. And even though it gets that a little bit dirty, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, I love the trims. I'm just a big fan of this bag. Now let's move to my pretty bougie basket bag but it is from Loewe They again this is from the Chadston Boutique this is the medium size it does come in a small size which is so darn cute but I wanted to you know use it as a like a big beach bag or when we go on picnics and market bag but I actually have only probably used it a couple of times but I still really like it I think it pairs so well with summer dresses and just yeah I just I love a good basket style I told you I'm a big fan obviously you don't have to buy it from Loewe but do consider you know straw bags basket bags wicker bags yeah I just I really really like this bag it's really well made and I, I like the contrasting colors so lots and lots of space as well that's why I went for this uh, medium size Next up is a bag I actually bought from Ala Moana in Hawaii and I'm so glad I picked this bag up. I love this bag. It's all wicker or rattan in this beautiful natural color. When you open it up, it's got this beautiful blue floral lining and I know people don't are getting off the Gucci Marmont but I'm so glad I picked this bag up. I really enjoy using it. I'm just a huge wicker fan. This one is a little bit shinier because I think they have put, you know, a special sheen to it. But how pretty is that? I've used it in Hawaii so many times. I've taken it overseas with me. Yeah, I'm just really glad to have this in my collection. And I have one more bag to reveal to you. It's just something very, very small. If you've made it this far, you are at the end of this video, but I do have just something little because you guys know I always think of you. And this I did actually get from Farfetch. This one came all the way from Italy. And I thought, you know what, to support the boutique, I saw it was the last one left and I wanted to support the boutiques and to give a little something to you to hopefully brighten up one of your days, I thought I'll just get something very little for you. And no, I didn't put giveaway in the title because I just wanted to surprise one of you guys. So in here is a cream. It goes with the neutral theme bag. And I was thinking of all you, you know, uh, students out there for mums that need bigger size bags because this tote, which is a Calvin Klein tote, is in canvas, but it does actually have a zipper. It fits, you know, a 13-inch laptop. It is, you know, it's 100% cotton. It's just very easy. You can, I just 
I don't know, I just love a little logo bag. Actually, Calvin Klein was um, one of the brands when I was younger that I just really liked. Calvin Klein tees, Calvin Klein perfume, Calvin Klein underwear. And I just saw it and I'm like, you know what? It's the last one from the boutique. I'm going to pick it up for one of you. I think you will find it really useful. It's just an errands day bag, something you can just like chuck anything into and take out with you. So yeah, I just wanted to give this bag to one of my family. So if you are watching till the very end, it's super easy if you were interested in this bag. So first, just be a subscriber of my channel, which I'm sure if you've made it to the very end, you probably are already. And secondly, just tell me where you're from and what was your favorite bag? From my whole neutral collection it could be one it could be two it's totally up to you and this is not mandatory but i would love for you to share my video as well there's lots of neutral lovers i mean it might help one of them and don't forget i do have my code which is ffmel10 if you were interested in getting 10 percent off any full price and yes that's on top of the 25 percent discount already offered um, from the boutiques so you're effectively saving like you know almost 35 percent off maybe the bag you're eyeing i will leave my discount code and everything down below and when the end date is but i hope you know those little coupons i try to get for you guys or even little things like this i always want to try and surprise you guys when i can just to give back a little bit and hopefully bring a smile to someone's face so guys that is my entire 25 neutral handbag collection you've seen pics with me in it or mod shots you've seen things from the lighter colors from ivory beige whites to the mid-tones of grays and taupes to the darker tan colors I did realize from doing all this exercise that I actually do not own a dark brown bag so I was thinking maybe one day I need to add something really dark brown, like a chocolate brown or something. But really, I don't need any more bags. So hopefully by using all these different shades and hues of neutral, that it just helps you make a more informed choice. You've seen all the variations and you've seen what it looks like. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.